Hey everyone, welcome back to Natural Kayak Fishing. Appreciate everybody taking time out of their day to sit and watch my videos. Well, here I am on my way to Lake Havasu for the biggest kayak fishing tournament event in Arizona history. And right out of the gate, I'm feeling in a pretty crappy mood. Uh, my family was meant to join me on this one, and last minute they were not able to, and I had got basically a more expensive Airbnb than I would have otherwise. And so I was gonna be in it alone. On top of that, the front axle universal joint on my truck decided that it was going to take a crap, causing this crazy shaking, stressing me out. It took many hours to figure out what the problem was, even though it took less than an hour to fix. It totally stressed me out. Nevertheless, here I am in Lake Havasu. Yes sir, made it to Lake Havasu. This place looks epic. A little three hour drive. Uh, it's Wednesday, the 22nd. Happy birthday to my lovely wife, Mylene. Thank you for letting me depart on your birthday to go fish a tournament. It's about 58 degrees. The sun is just coming up. About to head out for my first day pre-fishing. I don't know how much I'm going to film today. I'm not bringing a GoPro. I'm going to go see what I can find. I've never been on this lake, so I'm just going to be gathering information, mainly keeping my eye on the weather and looking at water temps and trying to find something. Yeah, 16 and 3 quarter. PB Smalley over here. <laughs> yeah. He was on a bed. Alright, found another largey. Well, not another largey, but I found a largey. In the Thule's. 3.5 pounds, 18 inches. Like, look at this. Like, right on top of me, so I have to walk all the way out there. Yeah. I had to walk all the way out there to put my motor on. We were at Roosevelt that winter. Z got my feet all cold and shit, dude. Hey, rookie. I thought I wasn't a rookie anymore. Oh, so, I'm gonna tell you. So, I don't have a trailer, right? Oh, you don't? You got a whole boat ramp. Okay? Why did I park right next to you? Yeah, because I got to walk all the way out there and put my motor on. Because I love you, Bradley. Damn, kids. <laughs> oh, yeah, Andrew's here, dude. Where's the camera folks? You! Yeah. You're the camera folks! Z's here. <laughs> Cameras are rolling. Well, day two pre-fishing started out like any other tournament day. One of the reasons I love fishing in this group is you never know who you're going to see at the boat ramp. But unfortunately, as you can hear at the end of this clip, my drive started making this weird clicking noise. I could kind of feel it in the pedals, and it seemed a little weird, but I just kept trudging forward across the lake. To make matters worse, after about an hour of fishing, a really nasty migraine headache set in, so I decided to go back to my truck to see if I could find some Tylenol. 
while pedaling the mile across the lake back to the boat ramp. Uh, my drive started to feel funny. Uh, it was still making that loud clicking noise. So I decided that I'm going to actually pull my boat out of the water so I can take a look at my drive and thought to myself maybe there's something I could do to make an adjustment and solve the issue. It's tough to see here, but as I was pulling up to the back of my trailer, uh, this couple here trying to launch their bass boat, they came extremely close to having a really bad accident with me, dragging their boat pretty much up the boat ramp and almost into my trailer. Man, I just hopped out of my boat, got on there, and got out of there as fast as I could because my head was splitting and I was already stressed out. Spent about uh, 20 minutes in the parking lot stressing out and working on my drive with a toolkit, seeing if there was something I could do to get it to work properly. Uh, one of the fins was powerless in only one direction. Uh, I did end up discovering that one of the cables inside the mechanism was broken. After a bit of panic, uh, I decided that the uh, best thing I could do was to drive home and get my spare kayak. Alright, so the update is I made it back to my pad, got the Hobie off the trailer, the sheer water on the trailer. Now I gotta switch out tackle boxes, figure out if my crate is gonna fit in the back, and I might have to redo that as well. So I'm gonna have to go back to the old camera arm. Man, I gotta switch the GoPro over and figure it out. <sighs> so I need to. Uh, now I'm gonna empty my truck because I'm not gonna be camping, so I'm gonna sleep here. I'm actually gonna run by RR Health Center and get an IV because I'm pretty sure I'm just really dehydrated. I don't take good care of myself. But anyway, I'm not out of it. I'm gonna go back and pre fish tomorrow, Friday. See if I can get on some fish and then fish the event Saturday and the second trail series event Sunday and I also sign up for the double up. Wish me luck guys. Good morning. Well, it's about 6.45 Friday morning the 24th and I'm back on the water in my old setup. Got the sheer water rocking. Kind of a race against freaking stress I guess trying to get this boat reset up we're rocking it all natural today I don't really have a graph We've got the 180 drive no 360 action no I don't really know what else to say it's been kind of stressful to be honest God, where'd I get? Oh shit, guys, something big. Holy shit. Whew. Guys, I got something big. Oh shit. Damn! What did I get? Woo! Oh my god, I must have got a flathead or something, guys. I'm getting dragged. Holy shit. What the fuck is this? I don't even got a net big enough. Oh, I fucking fell with the carp. God damn it. Oh, thank God. Whew. No, I foul hooked the carp. But, oh, it's a carp. Yeah, it was a carp. I foul hooked him. He came off though. Biggin'. <laughs> Dang. Well, now I know it was chasing right there. That was sick though. What a fight. God damn. Glad it came off though. 
Whew. All right, well, thankfully I'm feeling much better after my IV, because man, yesterday I had a splitting headache, migraine, felt super dehydrated. I feel great today. So big shout out to r, r Health Centers, Dr. Mylene Simone. She hooks it up, go check it out, rnrhealthcenter.com. My theory didn't pan out. Well, I, I, I guess, I guess there's fish activity over here on the, the Viz line. I don't know if you can see the water is pretty muddy over here, but it's pretty clear right over there. And there's like the line in the water where the, the silt divides the water. There was some fish activity there. I don't know. I didn't catch anything. And I did foul hook that freaking 50 pound carp. This thing was massive. Yep. I'm going to head back to the boat ramp. It's 11 o'clock and then I'm going to head up to my next pre-fishing spot. I'm going to go pre-fish body beach. I want to go south from there. Check out the water temps. I don't know, I gotta go find some warmer temperatures. 60 degrees, that's what I want. All right, successfully relaunched at Body Beach, and the water is 63 degrees, and not quite gin clear, but clear, you know? So, I like it. Maybe find some bed fish, who knows? Hopefully some pre-spawning fish, that's what I wanna find. But, let's see what I can do. I'm gonna head south, and then possibly jet across the lake and scope it out. I don't really have much time left. You gotta be off the water by four o'clock. Unfortunately, I didn't find anything except for these low flying Apaches. That was kind of cool. Uh, but I did actually run into two of my favorite reasons to go fish kayak tournaments Andrew Martin and Lance Engel. So let me show you guys the house here in Havasu. Pretty nice place. Pretty cool. Four bedrooms. Pretty nice. Anyway, here's the deal for tomorrow. So um, the way the wind is going to be blowing tomorrow and based upon the water temperatures in this area. But basically I'm going to launch at Body Beach, jump straight across and fish all of this because the wind is basically going to be blowing this direction down in like this. So that's tomorrow's game plan. All right, wish me luck. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's official day one at Lake Havasu. Well, the only day for the AZ Bass Nation and KAA. Day one for KBF. Not really going to plan. My alarm didn't go off this morning. Thank you, Bradley, for calling me. Woke me up just in the nick of time. Launched at 6.02, lines in is at 6.30. I'm headed to my spot. And honestly, I don't really have a game plan. I'm just playing the direction of the wind. So we'll see what happens today. Just trying to overcome all this adversity. Adversity is dope. Keep this PMI and we're gonna roll with it all day. Seeing fish activity already. Oh, it's a carp though. Dang, you guys saw it. Big old fat carp. Yeah, guys. Smally. Good morning. Stay hooked. Yes! Heck yeah, guys. Heck yeah, guys. Fuck yes! Yes! Oh my god, thank you, Lord. find some fish today. Heck yeah, first fish of the day. 17 inch smally. Nice fat chunk. Look at this fish. Whew. Heck yeah, buddy. Dude, that was sick. Unfortunately for me, uh, the day didn't really go the way it seemed like it was going to with that great start. My PB smally there. Uh, this was the only other fish that I managed to get later in the afternoon. This barely legal largemouth. And just to pile it on, as if it wasn't piled on high enough, uh, my GoPro decided that it was going to malfunction. 
Ah, well that's lines out, and you know what? So far this whole week has been a debacle, man. Just losing fish all over the place, can't find any fish. I'm really disappointed. I put so much hard work into this preparing for this event. I mean, I was only good for four fish today, lost two of them. Man, I'm just super disappointed in myself right now. Pretty bummed, but still another day to come out here and catch some fish, so. morning folks Sunday out here for day two of the KBF trail event out at Lake Havasu man and I'm just gonna apologize right now for just having the most shoddy video uh, this week has just not gone well at all I've made so many mistakes and so many things have happened to me that have just basically amounted to this week really not working out in my favor but that's all right we have today I'm just gonna fish new water and do the best that I can and yeah I'm hoping that I find some pockets that are heating up to 60 so I can find some dead fish. The wind should be much better than it was yesterday. Yesterday it was 12, gusting up to 15. So today should be much better. The wind is supposed to be a high of five miles per hour and blowing in a slightly different direction. So I'm hoping that I could be successful today and find some fish. Please be fucking 13 inches, baby. And small mouth here. Come on, chill out. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Oh, fucking A, man. What a day, dude. At least I found a male lock on the bed. Angry ass fuck. Angry ass dude. Please be 13 inches. First fish of the day, KBF day two. 13 incher. Wild guy. You motherfucker, I found your tail. Get over here. Oh shit. Yes! Thank you, God! Heck yeah, guys. Oh. Oh my fucking God, man. Just... This is so emotional, fishing for tournaments sometimes. Heck yes, dude. Thank you, God. Number two, KBF trail. Two at Havasu, 16 and a quarter. Smallmouth guarding his bed. Thanks, buddy. Well, folks, that's it. Line's out. And unfortunately, I couldn't put it together. Kind of all together, just a really frustrating week. Everything that could go wrong did go wrong. Honestly, I don't know how I feel. I'm really disappointed and feel pretty bummed out. I just really want to do well. I really love fishing and I just want to catch fish, man. I want to compete. I want to be competitive. I want to have fun. It's fun to compete. It's fun to catch fish. It's not fun to lose a ton of money, breaking things, getting distracted, losing things, malfunction with equipment. Malfunction with frickin' electronics. I mean, geez, let's just give the guy a bone, will ya? Anyway, 
Gonna go to the awards and watch someone else take my money. Well, when all was said and done, it was actually really amazing watching everybody win all this amazing hardware and take home all that money. Uh, I really need to say thank you and a huge shout out to my wife Mylene, who definitely helped me keep my cool all week. A big shout out to all my friends that were there with me fishing this tournament. You guys definitely helped me keep my cool and my head level all week as well. A uh, big shout out and thank you to Bridgeford Foods for hooking it up with all the beef jerky. Everybody loved it. Thank you so much. Uh, you know what's crazy is I hung in there all week and was able to grind out only two fish in the tournament. Uh, but those two fish landed me in 23rd place, kind of middle of the pack. Uh, so I guess the lake really was throwing everybody a curveball. By far my biggest takeaway from the week is that it's not over till it's truly over. With only two fish logged in my first two events each, I would never have guessed that by the end of this week I would be sitting in 6th place AOI overall. With two events left to fish, I could only hope that I actually have a fighting chance to qualify for the Bassmaster Kayak Series Championship. Thank you for tuning in. Please hit the like button, please hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the water.